As global powers race to become a dominant force in artificial intelligence, a special report on the hidden environmental cost of the technology. Creating AI consumes huge amounts of the world's precious resources. Vast quantities of water are needed to cool the servers that create it. AI relies on critical minerals and rare elements, and it consumes large amounts of electricity. In fact, it is such a drain on the power grid, some towns and cities are at their limit and simply cannot build any more housing. And there are concerns that our growing reliance on AI will come have a bigger impact on our changing climate. Our science correspondent Martin Stew looks at the issues. We're told it's the future. It's already here, in Britain, changing lives. The biggest change to society since the Industrial Revolution. It has shaken up the markets. Artificial intelligence is now considered a significant cyber threat. Politicians are throwing money at AI. $500 billion at least. But have you ever stopped to think about the real impact artificial intelligence has on the environment? Power up. Data centers may look dull, but without buildings like these, modern tech from the internet to banking wouldn't work. Row after row of racks hold super-powered computers worth hundreds of millions of pounds. So we're now in one of the data halls. Um, we're in the hot oil uh, area, which is between the racks. And what you can hear are the GPU chips whirring away and doing all their research. Noise, isn't it? Very loud, very loud, and also very warm. That heat is an indication of the huge amounts of power. Through clever cooling systems and using renewables, this data centre is aiming to be green powered by 2030, but it will still need as much electricity as all the homes in Cambridge combined. Ultimately, everything anyone does on their phones, on their computers, is all linked to a data centre in some fashion. We've struggled to uh, accommodate that demand, and now with the advent of AI infrastructure requirements, um, the future is looking increasingly difficult. In 2020, data centres used a little over 1% of the UK's electricity. By 2030, forecasts suggest that could rise up to nearly 7% the same amount of electrical power used by 8 million homes. The biggest driver of that increase is AI. It's not just power that AI is hungry for. If I was to ask ChatGPT here to compose me a 100-word email I could send for work, it would use the equivalent of half a litre of water in cooling. Now, through a working day, if I was to continue doing that, just imagine what it does to the water demand. Nobody cares more about water than scientists at Plymouth Marine Laboratory. But they know the value of AI too. It's helping them analyse pictures of plankton captured by this camera. We can't protect what we don't understand. So in order to better understand the plankton, this will help us take uh, measurements and collect data at a much higher resolution. Much quicker than yesterday. What it takes one person a whole day to monitor and measure, AI can do in a matter of seconds. This is an AI model that was trained by researchers here um, to identify the different animals that we can see in this image. AI is offering us a way to unlock this reserve of information. This could be a real game changer for us. Researchers have made the calculation that the environmental benefit of their findings justifies using more than half of the lab's electricity on computing power. But are others able to make as informed a choice? A report by the Royal Academy of Engineering says we desperately need more transparency about AI power demands and more regulation. The worst case scenario, if you don't manage the use of natural resources by data centres, is that we will find ourselves making difficult choices when it comes to who has access to power in the UK, whether it's the data centres or normal people. That's already happened in Slough, which can't expand the world's second largest cluster of data centres because they've run out of power. Dublin and Amsterdam, two of Europe's other biggest data hubs, have also had to stop building because the power grid can't cope. Thank you. Welcome. At an AI summit in Paris today, world leaders were told renewables will struggle to keep up with energy demands. We know that AI can help mitigate climate change, 
but we also know that its current trajectory is unsustainable. But in the global race for AI dominance, it's the economy, not the environment, which is powering policy. Martin Stew, ITV News.